another one. Hello everyone, how is it going? And let's see how we can make this. So in the description, you'll find the link to the collab file. You can click on that and open up this page. You can log into the account that you want to run this with, a Google Gmail account. And if you want to study a little bit more about how this application works and how it was invented and how the code and everything, there is a GitHub repository and there's a project page by the original authors of this particular application. Uh, and they have given a very detailed application and how this whole application, whole program works. Now let's see how we can do this. The first thing you want to make sure is go into runtime, change runtime type and make sure it is under GPU. If it's something else, then just come down to GPU and then press save. Once you have done the GPU section, you have a few things to be want to look into is the installation part, which is the installing of all the libraries, the GitHub clone, the model files, the wait files. Once that's all taken care of, then you need a source video and a driving video. A source image I'm sorry and a driving video so what you want to do is come down to the dependencies section which is here uh, one easy way to go into this go into the table of contents and it will give you a breakdown of everything that we need to take care of so come down to the dependencies section it's just giving up a write-up of what we need and installation is where we are going to install everything one by one so just go ahead and start running this uh, if you're running it'll give you this warning but just because it is coming up right from the author's page if you don't want to do that what you can do is come here copy to drive and it will make a clone of this particular collab file into your own account and then you can run it from your own account but if you don't for the sake of this video we'll just roll with what is going on so you just press pray and you can go in with runaway and it'll start installing all the libraries and dependencies that are required with this collab once that is taken care then go to the next go to the next go to the next go to the next it'll take a few seconds bear with it once you're done with everything, then you're downloading all the libraries that it's needed. So we under the download assets section. Once that's taken care, the libraries, the samples, and this is for the demo portion. You can go ahead and still run, go ahead and continue. Yeah, it'll take care of some initial libraries that we need. Uh, this is the run scripts section. Uh, these are some of the model files that they already have the configuration path which is already being set up here uh, once this is taken care it'll take a few seconds and then right from the, uh, underneath the run script section you have the run drum case axing case afan case so these are all sample files that the author has provided so he has given a very good documentation of how this collab and how the whole application runs uh, you can read through it and understand how the application is working but now run the drum case uh, then you have the other the uh, you have you can see some model files here some applications which are already present here which is pretty neat now coming down the run your custom inputs that is what we are interested in if we want to run our own image and our own video so here you have the model ID. Now, a model ID could be anything. You can specify 004. It doesn't matter. And the source path is the image that you want to run with. So come down here and upload any image that you want to work with. So say, for example, I have this memes that, that are downloaded. Uh, let's take one of the memes. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is uh, you want to, this is for a video. So we are going to take the source video and the video should be a person's, or someone dancing or someone moving, but it should be the whole body. So like, for example, where we have this particular CJ default dance screen, it's from one of those Fortnite dances. So it, it, the whole image, the person's whole body should be visible and it, preferably in the center of the screen. So then they can do the uh, image detection. Now you have the impersonator, now you want the source image that you want to be using. So here I'm using this Bernie's image, which is available on the internet. And you're just opening it up and see what's the difference. What are a few things that we want to make sure? The hands should be visible, the face should be visible, and the whole body along with the legs. If it's not visible, then it will cause some other issues. You have the video, of course. And the good thing about the video is the video should be in the center of the frame 
and it should be the whole body of the person. Once that's all taken care, now you want to provide the source path. The source path is Bernie copy path because this is the image which is the source and you just come here or to make it easy just delete everything put two inverted commas and then paste the cop the path that you copied for here and you can do that by control V on a Windows computer and now you have copied the path for Bernie similarly now you want to copy the path for this guy the video you're coming down to the reference path oops you are just going to replace this section here and it's going to give you the path once that's taken care then go ahead and run this it'll take a few seconds it'll go through all the frames of the video and then mimic the image accordingly so uh, it'll take a few seconds depending on the size of the video the size of the frame the video and and the image that you have provided so after that you'll once you finish with that then you'll get the output the output would be in the i per core section and under i per core you'll have a new folder which will be generated on the section of results and under results then you will have folders generated respect of the image that you have here now, well, with, for the sake of the video, I'll cut it down here, but uh, you look for the results folder right here. And if you don't see it, just refresh this section and it'll pop up and you'll have a results folder here, which you can use and download the video that you want to run with. If you're running into any issues, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you. With that, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.